welcome back to my channel it's a girl Sasuan. i'm here once again so today is day 27 of vlogtober and we should be doing spooky stories yes <laughs> so i have my girls here with me and like Linua just said we're just trying to bring out the vibes so i'm in the purple room of course but i turned the lights off and i'm trying to get it as spooky as I can. I will be reading my stories from Wattpad, the app I spoke about in the What's in Your Phone Challenge. So that's where I'm getting these stories from. Some of these stories I've never heard of, never read before, but I'm about to get into it. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so this one says, I can't see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now that is what they all say when they see me pouring tomorrow. Vlogtober is here, and this Vlogtober is hosted by. Simple Carly Jones, Tycoon I'm 3 NBA, and myself, Sassy Ren. The first story is called Centimeter Squares. You ready? Yes, that doesn't sound scary. She said Centimeter Squares don't sound scary. Alright, this person read. This person rate the story seven out of ten on the spooky scale. All right, a teenager girl was asked to babysit two children one night while the couple went out. One was a baby, and the other was a toddler. She agreed, and during that evening, she packed them both off the bed early so she could watch TV in the living room. Okay. About an hour after, the kids had gone to sleep, the land phone rang. Thinking it might be one of the parents, she answered it. Hello. There was a long pause on the other end. Just as she was about to hang up, a low, scratchy voice began to speak. Centimeter squares. Centimeter squares. Centimeter squares. The girl was confused, but she decided it was probably just prank callers. She hung up quickly, a little unsettled, and turned the TV on again. Then only 10 minutes later, the phone rang again. She answered it a little wearily. Hello. This time, the breathy, raspy voice replied straight away. Centimeter squares, centimeter squares, centimeter squares, centimeter. The girl, trembling, hung up again. She tried to tell herself that it was just stupid prank callers. But she couldn't help but to feel a little frightened. She tried to focus on the TV. Not five minutes later, the phone rang. This time, she hesitated to answer it. But she managed to convince herself that the prank caller wouldn't bother again. And the couple had told her to answer the phone just in case they needed to call her. She licked her dried lips. He Hello? Centimeter squares! Centimeter squares! Centimeter squares! The voice was louder and more gleeful. Did that sound gleeful to you? A little bit. Compared to the yeah. centimeter squares, was it? Yeah. Who are you? Stop calling me! 
she cried down the phone. But the caller ignored her and carried on with his chant. Centimeter squares, centimeter squares, centimeter squares. She hung up. Her hand was sweating. This was stupid. She decided to call the phone company and ask them to block the number. It was freaking her out. Hello? The voice answered on the other end. She quickly explained her situation and they promised they would track down the block, track down and block the prank caller. Yeah, we know what. She thanked them and hello. She sat back down on the sofa, feeling relieved and a little bit more relaxed. She immersed herself in the TV. But not 10 minutes later, the phone rang again. Oh my goodness. She was a little cautious, but confident that the prank caller wouldn't and couldn't reach her any longer. She answered it. Hello? Get out of the house now! Shock. She stuttered. <laughs> Why? She stuttered. Excuse me? This is your phone company. We tracked down the number. The caller is upstairs. Get out of the house. She froze, stunned. Then she drew out the phone and sprinted to the door. Just as she reached for the lock, she realized the children were still up. Stairs. Relax, relax, relax yourself. Okay. For a few seconds, she did her and then rushed up the stairs to get them. The landing was dark and the unfamiliar house she couldn't find the light switch. She crept quietly along, intending to sneak into their room and get them out as quickly as possible without any noise. As she tiptoed into the hallway towards the closed door of their room, she realized in one heart-stopping moment that there was yellow light shining through the gap under the door. She had turned the lights off earlier. I wonder who turned back the light on. Forgetting her fear, she sprinted over and flung it open. The room was brightly lit, but it was empty. She rushed over to their beds and clapped a hand over her mouth. <gasps> Both children had been cut into Centimeter squares. So they killed the children and cut. They were cut into centimeter squares. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh! How did you think I did on that one? Is this a true story? No, <laughs> it's not a true story. Oh my gosh. So did they get was that, in? No, they were cut into centimeter squares. And there was blood. You like that one? There was blood all over the bed. Yeah? You like that one? So how come they never found out who the person was? Girl, it's supposed to be a spooky story. We don't know. We're going to read another one. This one is called The Girl in the Picture. You ready for that one? What what scary this level is it? Six. So it's not as scary as the first one. You ready? Could you make it five or one? <laughs> you scared? <laughs> alright. Mama. This one. It's gonna be alright. Listen, listen, Mama, we just listen. 
Take Zell for example. Would you be scared if Zella, baby, are you scared? Baby, your baby's head was cut up into little centimeter squares. No, don't think about that. This one is the girl in the picture. Let's listen to this one. Is it scary? A young man once found a picture of a teenage girl in the street. One day when he was walking to work, the girl was extremely beautiful and she was smiling prettily up at the camera while holding up two fingers in a peace sign. And she was smiling, right? Pretty smart. The man soon became obsessed with the girl. He didn't know why, but there was something about her that entranced him. He started asking everyone in the town and showing the picture to them. But nobody knew who the girl was. The man grew desperate and even traveled out of the village to ask people from far away. With no luck, not a single person recognized the girl. That evening, he returned, distraught to his home. He went into the kitchen to get a drink and glanced out of his window. He was shocked to see the girl from the picture standing outside his house, lit by a street lamp in the dark. She was waiting on the other side of the road, smiling and waving at him. The man rushed out of his house and ran to the front door immediately, his heart pounding desperately. Boom, 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 boom. To finally meet with her. As he ran out of his front garden and across the street, he was too preoccupied to notice the car speeding towards him. And he was hit and killed instantly. When the police arrived to investigate his death, they found a picture of a young girl lying next to him. The girl was beautiful and smiling. She was holding up three fingers. The end. What do you think about that one? <laughs> Where did you go about that one? Okay, I get the car accident. That wasn't scary? Wait, so you think that the girl came out the picture and was waving at him and then she made him die? Okay, I don't she, I don't know if okay. she came out the picture. You think she could come out the picture? The picture turned into three fingers. Right, so that means you mustn't be too quick. So run out and meet people in the street right and plus he didn't even know her. and he didn't even know her what do you think about these stories i think that the first one was really scary the second one i mean like that is a moral that's a moral what is a moral for the the second story that you told me it's like you have to be careful and look both it's just like a thing that Everybody should know. Look both ways before you cross the street. So the moral of the story was to look both ways. Else no. he wouldn't die. No, it's also to be to be if you if you don't mess with a situation that isn't yours, you won't face the consequences of it. Okay. And what woman was? You know my favorite story was centimeter squares. Stop. Centimeter squares. <laughs> You know what I'm going to do tonight? All you know right. what I'm going to do? I'm going to pour water in your ear. You so can't I'm... do that. And that's not nice. Hey. We're at the end of the story. Thank you so much I'm for so listening. So I hope you enjoy this scary <laughs> story. But, but we got to wrap the video up now. And that's going to be it. Until tomorrow, I'll catch you in another video. Bye. Say bye. 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 Was it scary? My, my you were scared. You were scared. You were scared. You too. You too. You were scared.
Okay. They were scared. My belly kind of did twist up into a few knots. All right. I enjoyed this story reading, though, but. Bye. Check the description box down below for the other content creators. You can just click their links, and the time that they are premiering is also listed. Leave a comment below, and thank you so much again for watching.